Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome across watchers. Anyone who may be new to the channel, happy to have you here. Be sure to say hi in the comments. I'll give you a warm welcome. Um, I'm going to start by pulling from Archangel Michael's Sword of Light Oracle to activate the reading. Let's see what message comes through for those of you watching. Oh, Virgo, card number seven. Love the numerology. Change is coming. I am here to guide you through this exciting transformation. This is a time of joyous opportunities. I love that. I love that for us and all the butterflies and it just feels good. Um, we're being guided through an exciting transformation. Um, Pluto is a planet that rules transformation. The Lord of the Underworld and the Great Destroyer, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like the rising of the Phoenix kind of an energy that Pluto also ushers in. And so um, keep that in mind. We do have some Plutonian transits this month. I think the sun will be opposite, you know, in opposition to Pluto this weekend, I want to say. And that can be a little challenging. <laughs> right there, we see the tower. Um, but it could herald in some important changes, right? Because with the sun, it's like we put the Klieg lights on that dynamic um, and Pluto's power to help us see what needs to be changed. So that's a nice message. Okay, what I'm going to do is pull the spread, give you my general impressions. We'll get details from the clarifiers. Do remember, it's a general reading, not a private reading, so it may not speak to everybody. Just take what speaks to you, leave the rest. Whew, we're starting with the moon, possibly some, yes, yeah, some fears. Definitely some fears being triggered around our beautiful past life soulmate sacred connections. Um, in your unconscious awareness, we're considering the path forward in the past nine of cups. Things, I think we're feeling really good in your conscious awareness. I hear you saying, Virgo, as I lay this down or whoever you are watching because it can come through reverse. Yeah, that nine is nice, but I want the 10 and there we have it. Um, so could be that there's, you know, what's the path toward the happiness that we seek? Toward that energy of happily ever after. And there we have... Um, the star in the near future, which could be wish fulfillment, a wish granted, um, a dream come true. Yeah. We may be seeing some important shifts, changes coming. Be open to the change. I like it. Let's see the moon and the six of cups. Queen of cups, three of cups, six of wands. So definitely our hearts are open for some form of reckons, even though we're fearful and maybe a little anxious, um, apprehensive. We are open to some form of a coming back together, a reconciliation, a cause for celebration. We may just not be able to see the path to that. Um, because what I'm seeing in your unconscious awareness would be like, okay, now I know what I'm open to, but how do I manifest that? How does that happen? So let's see the two of wands in your unconscious awareness. Mm, beautiful. So what's happening here as I'm pulling these cards is my eye is catching, I have a little calendar here with some um it's astrological but it gives me a little bit of a flavor for the day and as i was looking and drawing the cards right this is the path forward this is where we begin with our intention setting we decide what we want we choose the path that's going to help us get there and then we have to set something in motion so that it arrives that is the manifestation process okay and as I was pulling, it says, in order to make your dreams come true, you have to believe in them, see them as real, and take inspired action toward them. So then we get the Ace of Pentacles, 
okay? Maybe a new beginning for some of you in this connection. Then we get the Ace of Swords. Love the Aces, right? That's where we get the belief that we that this is a thing, that it's real, that we can make it real. Um, and underneath is a Six of Pentacles, but it's a reciprocal process that requires both of you to be invested. Okay, so I love that you're open to it, even if it's in your unconscious awareness, the energies that I just read off my calendar are really what I'm seeing sort of bubbling up to the surface for you. Let's look at the Nine of Cups in the past. Seven of Swords, Judgment, Ace of Wands. Wow, all these Aces coming out. The Ace we're missing, and they're clarifiers, but it's still um, is the Ace of Cups, okay? So keep that in mind. The one that's missing is the one that we want to pay attention to. Yeah, I feel like there's been some complacency and avoidance in the past, maybe avoiding something that didn't go very well between you, or um, there could, for some of you, have been something that you perceived as you know either disloyal or deceptive, a form of betrayal based on someone just being complacent. That's the important part that this person didn't take the action that was needed to avoid whatever it is that either went sideways or completely fell apart. And so all, all this while, you've been open to second chances, to reunion, to reconciliation, forgiveness if necessary, and there's the inspired passion, okay? It's sort of hovering there beneath the surface because you can't do anything with it if this person won't. I mean, spirit gives these aces. See the hand on the ace of wands, on the ace of swords, on the ace of pentacles, right? in the hand of spirit. And the point of the aces is we have to take it. It's handed to us and we have to reach out and receive it. And I have a feeling that that is what did not happen. And that was either received by you and perceived by you as a betrayal, as some form of deception, um, as some form of um, like you were told one thing and that's what you were expecting and the action never took place. If that makes sense, that's kind of what I'm seeing here in the past. It might be different for some of you. Ten of Cups, though, in your conscious awareness. Right. We might have to start from scratch. We're coming back from something that ended in a very painful way. But look, in your conscious awareness, the only way out is through. We got to talk about, talk about it. Take that first step. The Page of Pentacles has something to learn in the situation. But you can't get there from here, you've got to kind of take that step to open a dialogue of some sort to explore what it is that ended so painfully or that at least feels like whatever it was was so painful that there was no coming back from it. Okay, so not that there was necessarily a painful ending, but it just like radio silence after that. Where, where do you go when something has happened and no action has been taken to remedy that situation? So let's see the star in the near future. Mm -hmm. uh, right. The, you know, the if you build it, they will come. If you plant it, it will happen. There's that seven of pentacles. This is about, you know, setting those seeds of intention, um, planting them deeply in the fertile soil, and then nurturing it, nurturing it, and giving it time to unfold organically. That's a message of patience. Temperance is a message of patience that says, yeah, you, you set those seeds deep, you plant them deep, and then you kind of have to go with the flow here and be open to the guidance of the universe, um, right? To, to see the fruits, you know, uh, sort of blossoming here, to see it come to fruition. Thank you. To <laughs> see the fruits of your labor. To see your intentions come to fruition. Hello, Saturn, the world. 
closing out one very ugly cycle so a new beautiful cycle can begin. And that would be the dream come true, the wish granted, a miracle for some of you. But you have to start by being open to it. And I see you are, even though you might have some fears, a little bit of nervous tension on the surface there around it because it's important. So it would be subhuman to not have some anxieties, worries, insecurities cropping up and getting, you know, messing with your head. But I just read to you, in order to make your dreams come true, you have to believe in them, see them as real, and take inspired action toward them. That is the message that I'm seeing here. Okay? So, hey, not bad. Um, <laughs> I know I say that because sometimes, you know, the messages are a little dicier and we kind of have to stay in the game and work through them and process them. Seems like we're coming out on the other side here, Virgo, to something that's more workable, manageable, and we're beginning to see the potential for us to manifest a new beginning in this situation. That is what I see for you. Now, before I give you the astrology that showed up, I do want to go in to the extended. The links are below. You're going to see option one, option two, option three for how to access the extendeds. It's just based on how many extendeds you want access to. Okay, so please read what it is you're purchasing. Um, and a note for many of you, there was a glitch with the all access pass, which means you get access to all the extendeds. Anything I upload on YouTube, you get access to the extended version. Um, there was a glitch, there was a missing uh, digit on the link for like the last 150 videos, it has been fixed. So if you've been having any problems accessing it, it's all fixed. Email me if you have any problems, okay? So um, so that's the first thing. I'm gonna go into the extended, look at your connection, what's working for you, what's not, or what has, what was and what wasn't. Um, what are the opportunities? I wanna get a message to you from your person. Um, see what they want you to know, what they're trying to tell you, at least energetically. Let's see what they're picking up from you energetically, um, which can often be surprising uh, because you may not be thinking you're putting out a certain vibe, but maybe it is something that they're tapping into. A message from spirit with some guidance, direction, hidden energy, something behind the scenes with your person that you don't know about but might want to, and then how things might unfold going forward. We already get a glimpse of it here but that will take it to the next level. So that's what we're gonna cover in the extended. And oh wait, there's more. So we are in the run up to Lionsgate. For those of you who are unaware, the Lionsgate portal opens every year around July 28th with the first qu third quarter moon. Third quarter moon? Let me see. I think it's the third, it's one of the quarter moons that it begins on July 28th. It closes on August 12th with a quarter moon. And then on August 8th, 8-8 eight, eight is the date for Lion's Gate. <laughs> I know, it's been a weird day. Um, and so I'm offering an $88 off my private readings. Uh, there is a link below for that special if you've been wanting a reading, but it's been a little out of reach. It might be more digestible now. And for those of you who have already had one, maybe want, want a second or a third reading, absolutely it's better than the VIP discount, okay? So check that out. Okay, all the self-promotion is done. Here we go. We have the moon is Pisces. Queen of Cups is Cancerian energy. Um, we have Judgment is Pluto, as I mentioned. That rules the sign of Scorpio. Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The Star is Aquarian energy. Um, temperance is Sagittarian energy. And the world, as I said, is Saturn, Aquarius, and Capricorn. Okay, so that's what I've got. I am headed. Change is coming. I love it. Um, yeah, good vibes. And I'm headed to the extended. I'll see you there in caught myself okay one last thing before i go if you enjoy my readings if it if you gain gain something from it insight confirmation um please help a girl out subscribe below um here's the thing i cannot continue on this platform if i don't show signs of growth they're not putting my videos in front of people because there's not enough growth um they are when I say they, I mean the algorithms are promoting newer channels, are promoting shorts. That's getting their 
attention. That's their priority. Um, so those of us, if we're not in um, influencer land of hundreds of thousands or millions of subscribers, we're sort of falling on the back burner. So please do subscribe, click the notification bell. If you've been subscribed and haven't been seeing me in your notifications, all you gotta do is delete your app, your YouTube app, go into the app store, reopen it, and it resets it. It's just like a, a reboot, okay? And sometimes things get stuck in no man's land when YouTube clears their cache, sometimes it, you know, not everybody that's subscribed gets notifications. So just consider it. All right, that's what I have. Again, I'm headed to the extended. I will see you there in a second. Bye for now.